All right, robots took over Point Loma this past weekend. Local students geared up for competition against other parts, uh, others from all over the world. You're looking at uh, one of those ro ro robots right there. David uh, Copenhaver joins us this morning to tell us more about this competition. You are with Seabotics, the main sponsor of this thing. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, so too. This, uh, you've got a couple of the uh, display items right here, but j the, watching it in action on the video is a very cool thing to do. Right. Tell us what was going on this weekend and why it was so important. Well, the AUVSI Foundation sponsored the ro Robo Sub Competition, and Seabotics used our ROVs to watch the students as they were competing in the underwater, uh, underwater competition. Then we took the output of our robots and took that to a giant jumbotron screen so that all of the participants and the teams could see what was happening above the water as well as below the water. So how does the competition work? How do you know who wins? I mean, we'll get to who won in a little bit, but I mean, what are you looking for in the competition? Well, students have a number of things that they're doing. They're writing a business plan. They're writing uh, their marketing plan. They're writing a plan for their public relations. And they're then competing in the water against each other to go through a competition where they have to do a number of different tasks that are quite difficult. Once the robot leaves the dock, it's autonomous. That means that the robot has to perform all of its functions without human control. Mm -hmm. um, those kinds of things are quite difficult for high school and college students sometimes, no but kidding. these kids are really brilliant. They come from schools here locally, as well as schools from uh, 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 China, mm -hmm. Russia, Canada, and throughout the world. So how many schools were we talking about competed this weekend? There were, I think, 37 schools in the competition. Uh, all over the, from all over the world, like from, you said, China, Japan, and uh, United States. Six of them from right here in California. That's correct. And Cornell University won the competition, so we're quite proud of them. That's exciting. So this weekend was the underwater part. Some of this had, has been taking place for, I mean, as far as writing all of their programs and those types of things. They are working year-round. Yeah. To, uh, to build these and engineer these ROVs. And then this week, there was two days of practice, two days of, of, uh, of qualifications, and then two days of competition. Okay, and there is competition, and it is a game to some degree, but why is this important when it, as we move on with these things? Well, these kids are the future of our industry, and Seabotics has been supporting the AVSI Foundation's RoboSub program since its inception because we see these kids as the future of our industry and potentially working for Seabotics. These kids are extremely innovative, and as programs like STEM are supporting the science, technology, engineering, and math, we see the, the, the innovation in these kids. They have no boundaries in their right. thinking. I remember one particular kid, I, I saw he had a flip-flop in the middle of his RV, and I said, what, what is that? And he said, well, it, it has positive buoyancy, and it's cheap. <laughs> and I thought, wow, what great innovation is and that? And those are the minds that will be working for Seabotics in, the, in some of the most innovative country, or companies in the world in the future, right? That's right. Seabotics is right here in San Diego. We're in Liberty Station. We have about 50 employees. We, we, we doubled our growth last year. We'll do that again this year. So ro robots and underwater robots are, are here to stay and going to grow. And we're looking for innovative minds like the kind of kids who are in this program. What do you see these things doing in the future? Well, right now they're doing everything from working for the Navy EOD and special operations to oil and gas. Mm -hmm. Also, they're looking for things like uh, sunken ships and sunken airplanes. You know that 70% of the Earth is is is, is ocean, and the yeah. amount of it that we've uh, actually documented is about the size of Virginia. Yeah. So we got a lot of discovery to do with robots. Did California schools represent themselves pretty well? Absolutely, California schools, both high schools and colleges, mm -hmm. were represented well here. And we see this competition just growing year after year. Um, it's growing in the last, uh, this was the 15th year of the competition, and each year it grows more and more with things like this year with the new Jumbotron. Sure. Just keep adding new dimensions to it, and uh, it's really truly what it comes down to is the innovation of these kids and the future of our industry and the future of robots, and, and hopefully Seabotics can continue to be a part of all that. So we do have a Super Bowl here in San Diego. It's just it's just Seabotics, right? That's exactly right, <laughs> yes. And the robots under the sea. Thank you so so much for being with us, Dave. Thank we you for your time. It. Good morning.